Hello guys and gals and welcome to City Skylines. I'm Buddy1927 and today we're playing on the map of Vanilla Lake by Mr. Miyagi. I did some changes while we were while I was offline and I added and grew this city a little bit. In today's episode we are going to be talking about industries and how it makes money this is going to be a couple part this is going to be a little bit of a series it might be two or three episodes i haven't decided yet but in today's episode we are going to talk how to set it up and go from there okay guys um as you can see i kind of grew the city the last episode i grew all this added all this i need five thousand people so i can get the highways up and running and as you can see, I added, I took out the um, six-lane road that we had right here, and added the highway connections, connected the two highway connections, like here, and added roundabouts for it, for the exits so people can get on and off. This is kind of backing up right now, but we are going to take care of that later. It will all work out. This is the problem with no mods. I don't have President's Edition, and we need to get things going. So the city's now up to 7,300. We need industry, we need uh, commercial and resident. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our map. Okay, we got farmland here, oil here, and oil here, uh, farmland there. We got oil here. We got coal or ore right here. We got some more oil, some more farm, more farm, more coal and more oil so what I am going to do is actually I'm going to buy this tile and I'm going to buy this tile okay the reason why I bought these two tiles is for the resources in ind industries we need resources to collect over here let's go over here we got a big oil field right here we got a nice large farm there we got a nice more farm there some more farm here we got some oil here but we're not going to use this as oil we're not going to worry about the oil here we got some ore right here that's the reason why i bought the tile here is to um expand the ore uh to, so we have ore access and we also have forestry over here with uh, also oil but we're going to use this as our forestry okay so one of the main things that you need to do right now we don't have railroad but i can divert this railroad line right here over to here for our farm in our oil industry and i can i take one of these lines and use it as our industry for forestry and ore so what we are going to do next and we're going to not erase plant we're going to plant our industry areas let's go into this view and i'm going to show you how i do it it's a little bit different mark out the, the farm here then i'm going to take this section right here and the reason why i'm taking this section right here because you got to, um, once you collect the resources, you got to get a process. So you need an area for the processing area. And that's what I'm going to do here. First, I'll mark out the area that I want to collect the resource. So we got oil here. So you mark out where the resources that you're going to be using. Then I just take an area like this and I can always expand this area so we can process the resources that we got here that's first importance second importance while I'm doing this I can go ahead and explain is um, traffic once we get the um, resources they, the raw resources can be sold off and the trucks need access to highways and railroads and ports so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section and as you can see I'm also doing this but we also got to get a highway connection going on here so what I'm going to do here is go to our roads and we got a highway right here so what I'm going to see what we can do is see what kind of intersections we have now nah, we don't want that one yeah we want this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here so let's take this pause game 
Now I see. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we'll place, place that right there. Get our highway. Unfortunately, I don't have three lane highway. All I got is two lane and four lanes. So I'm going to take our four lane road here. Okay, we got our highway connected, but now we need to bring our highway over to here. And the reason why we want to do that is because the highway is the fastest route for the trucks to go for um, the resources. Okay, the reason why we want to use the highways is that way it's the quickest route for the trucks. And once they get on the highway, they can go off and sell their product. We want to try to keep the trucks from coming into the city causing backups like this. So that's one of the reasons why we want to do this. So we're going to take our roads. Now I'm, I'm going to pause the game while I set up the roads. So I'll be right back. Okay guys and gals. I got the infrastructure of the highway set up for these two industries. And basically what I've done is we added this section. This intersection. And I added this intersection. So when they come off the highway. They can go over here to the right or over here to the left all this is highway even the roundabouts a highway so it's all connected straight to the highway none of it connected to the city itself so that's good so we get no traffic coming going through the city everything's going straight onto the highway that's one of the things that we want to do is make sure that all our trucks are, have access to the highway and get on the highway and go sell their stuff so that way it doesn't go through the city now the rest of the infrastructure that I will be building eventually I gotta wait until I get another tile over here I also gotta wait to get I also gotta wait to buy this tile and what I need to do with this tile is so I have access to the highway for the ore down here and I can use this section as my trees instead because eventually I want to set up this as my um, transportation hub right there but that's what my plans are right now um, that's the key to setting if you can set up a good industry and eventually like I will set up the warehouse and factories here with the um, train depot right there if I can set up a good infrastructure of the highways to the industries that will keep the traffic out of the cities and straight onto the highways the only trucks that you will see in the cities are the ones that are delivering to goods to the commercial section and that's why I want to set up the infrastructure first before I set up start doing the industries setting up the industries even though we have already zoned the industries i want to make sure that they get straight onto the highway and i don't have to worry about traffic in the city especially since i'm using no mods at all and the reason and i don't have traffic um i don't have traffic manager president's edition i don't have 81 tiles so i can just buy all the tiles I don't have any mods so you got to plan ahead before you actually build what you are going to build like my my plans for this city is to make is grow the city this way up up this way on this side of the highway I'll probably put another intersection right here or something like that so and another one up here so we have access to the highway make like a little um beltway or or alternate highway route for for the people as the city grows that is the plan right now and i in part two um we'll go ahead and start setting up the farming and oil industries and grow the city a little bit i'll grow the city a little bit more off camera so I can have access to um, some others that I probably will need to set up the set up for the warehouse and factories so thank you for watching if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button bell that way you, you know when the latest videos that I do come along um, if you can help this channel grow by hitting the like button I really do appreciate that 
And as always, have fun playing your games, be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.